So once upon a time, there were no containers and applications were precariously bundled by developers with lots of hope as wars and ERs were executed directly on virtual machines or bare metal servers. Right? Everything changed when Docker introduced the application deployment through self-sufficient and portable containers. And then the helmsman with the name of Kubernetes emerged and the cloud world was never the same. I'm Nena Singh. I'm very excited to be here and very proud for Red Hat to have the opportunity to be a diamond sponsor at this very first Knative Con event. And for the next few minutes, I will take you on a journey to show you the serverless evolution and the future of Knative, the rising name in the world of application deployment. First, let me take a moment to congratulate Knative Project for its 1.0 release and its acceptance into CNCF as an incubating project. It was a long and arduous journey and each and every member of the community played a part. So my sincere gratitude and heartfelt congratulations. Serverless, contrary to its name, we have learned that relies very much on servers. What it actually does is let you worry less about the servers. And it's easy and practical, good for all sorts of applications, be it a microservice API or your one-off business need. Serverless journey could be charted into phases. And serverless 1.0, phase one, we can say that when we started to hear and talk about functions, the small snippets of code running on demand for short duration of time, and AWS Lambda is the first one that comes to mind. Though it was pivotal in making it popular and enables variety of use cases, it had its own limitations around the choices of language, the execution time, and local developer experience. And the next pit stop in this journey is when we realize that the same serverless traits and benefits could be applied to containers. And this leads us into the phase which we can call 1.5. And one solution started delivering serverless experience on Kubernetes with an abstraction layer that's sitting on top of it, also known as Knative. And Red Hat is one of the founding members of Knative and still one of the top contributors. By opening up serverless to containers, users were not limited to language runtime run choices or framework or not limited by the execution time. And these containers were scaling up and down, back to zero. We can say that it's not a stretch to say that Knative democratized serverless by leveraging the portability of containers. So now you can move across any cloud or on-prem. And now we are entering phase two where container full functions for code to cloud capabilities, integration and state come into play. Phase two of serverless will focus on serverless uh, handling the complex orchestration and integration patterns with some, case, uh, with some state management. Phase two is also focusing on advanced messaging capabilities with the breadth of enterprise ready event sources for developing event driven applications. With 2.0, serverless will essentially become a feature of your platform. And because in practice, most organizations would be running the combination of serverless and non-serverless workload. Monolithics, modular monolithics, microservices, functions, all connected through events and giving users an option to choose the best tool for their job. I'm gonna take a pause before I show you the future as to how combining serverless capabilities with other open source technologies, we can unleash even more. So, Combining the serverless capabilities with the cloud native performance of Quarkus, integration with events across your hybrid cloud through CamelK, doing stateful orchestration with Cogito, and securing and managing uh, your serverless and non serverless API, and the reliable event bus with Kafka, we can create solutions for almost any use cases. And now back to the future. The Knative future is to be on every Kubernetes platform to blend in with your path. And with features like request-based auto-scaling, concurrency controls, traffic splitting capabilities, out-of-the-box telemetry is to make 
Kubernetes platform, a Kubernetes++ platform. Knative Future is to connect all your services across all your clouds through events. Knative Future is to be used in every industry vertical, and Knative Future is to enable that fairy tale ending for developers where they forget about the servers and can focus on solutions and outcomes. The end. Oh, thank you for your time. We do have an open shift table outside. We are out of swag, but please drop in to say hello. Thank you.